on January 30, 1917, a national hero from Charang Sari Bali was born. His parents were sub-district head Igusti Ngurah Palung and Igusti Ayu Kompiang. Ngurah Rai completed his first education at Holland's Inland School in Denpasar, Bali. He continued his study at a military academy in the city of Gianyar in 1936 and was appointed as second lieutenant four years later. Ngurah Rai moved to Magelang to continue his military education at Corp Oplading for Reserve Officieren or COROO followed by Arteri Academy in the same city. Armed with his military knowledge, Ngurah Rai was appointed an intelligent ally during the Dutch colonization. During the Japanese occupation, Ngurah Rai worked as an employee at Mitsui Busan Kaisha, a company that buys rice from citizens. He then joined the Indonesian troops and established the People's Security Army, or TKR, in the Lesser Sunda region after the country declared its independence. Ngurah Rai was selected as Lesser Sunda Regimental Commander, with Lieutenant Colonel as his rank, and in charge of 13.5 military bases across Bali. These troops are known as Chiung Wanara. After 2,000 strong Dutch armed forces arrived in Bali, Ngurah Rai rallied his troops to fight against them. Having a limited number of soldiers is not a reason to back down. This is the Puputan Margarana War. Igusti Ngurah Rai fought until the very end, and he died on November 20th, 1946, at only age 29. On August 9, 1975, the Indonesian government honored Igusti Ngurah Rai as a national hero and was posthumously promoted as Brigadier General. Resa Anindita for See Today. Yes, welcome back to See the Story, our favorite segment. So what we just saw is the All Out War or Puputan Margarana War. It is a heroic story that lifted the Indonesian figure's name among the public. Here, Igusi Murah Rai, a national hero for, from Bali, fought against 2,000 Dutch soldiers with his troops to defend the country's sovereignty. And, and every national hero is remembered in their own way, like Igusi Murah Rai, his name is immortalized in the biggest airport in Bali. Ngurah Rai Bali International Airport, or formerly named Tuban Airport. It is an airport located in South Bali. It was developed by the Dutch in 1930 and continued to evolve, including a name change on August 1st, 1969, which became Ngurah Rai International Airport. Spanning over 296 hectares, it is the second busiest airport in Indonesia with no less than 25 million passengers per year. Located on a seaside in south of Bali, this airport looks beautiful and unique with Bali's typical beach view. And did you know that in 2016, Bali Airport was awarded as third world best airport after Seoul Gimpo Airport in South Korea and Wuhan Tianhe Airport uh, in China. Uh -huh. And also another fun fact is yeah. about the Wi-Fi. So it's the sixth fastest internet Wi-Fi connection oh. mm -hmm. uh, and in, the, in the world. Yep. Um, so it reached uh, 16.01 Mbps. Mm, Yay. Fast. And when we're talking about you, you mentioned 2016, right? Mm -hmm. But before that, mm -hmm. in 2015, the first fact about Bali Airport is actually they were awarded 
as uh, the best improved airport in Asia Pacific. Wow. So this award refers to service quality they managed to improve each year. And Airport Council uh, International consider that Igusti Murah Rai has made great progress in providing services to passengers. Have you been there since it's renovated? Yeah. Yes. I Actually, was about to ask, ask for that because <laughs> you've been to Bali yeah, last time and you, yeah. you were in uh, Your experience exactly. yeah. uh, the look of new Igusti Murah Raya, yes. right? Amazing architecture, yes. I must say. Beautiful, right? Yeah. But I'm not planning to go there uh, in the near future because of the surge of Omicron cases. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. We'll have to wait. All right. So other than being immortalized in an airport, Hero's face is also featured on a 50,000 rupiah banknote. In 2009, Bank of Indonesia released a set design of rupiah's banknotes. One of the faces that was on a 50,000 rupiah banknote was the hero from Bali, Igusti Ngurah Rai. The banknote is colored blue with Igusti Ngurah Rai's face featured in the front and a picture of Tanah Lot in the back. An engra uh, engraver named Mujirun designed uh, the banknote as his last design in his career before he retired. The design replaced the previous banknote that was an image of Wr uh, uh, Supratman, the song creator of Indonesia Raya. Currently, the picture of the 50,000 banknote is another national hero uh, in senior uh, Haji Juanda Kartawijaya, which uh, was issued in 2016. And Bali residents have their own way of respecting and remembering the services of our heroes. A traditional ritual is a way of giving honor to Igusti Murahrai and the Chiyongwanara troops. For 17 years, every November the 20th, the Bali residents, specifically in Adat Kalachi village, holds a special ritual in Pujaan Bangsa Margarana Monument Park. The purpose of the ritual is to commemorate the fall of Igusti Ngurah Rai and the other brave 1372 Chiung Wanara troops that fought back the Dutch in the Puputan Margarana attack. Praying, scattering flowers, Giving offerings to purify the spirits of the fallen heroes are part of the rituals. The custom involves 170 villagers and local government. During the pandemic, the ritual is still performed but in a more simple scale while also following the health protocol.